Welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel and it's match day Manchester United versus Liverpool only a few hours before kickoff. Let me know what your thoughts and feelings are if you're looking forward to the match. Score predictions, anything you can think of, get it in the chat. As you can see, I'm buzzing, really looking forward to this one. This is it. This is the rivalry. Can't beat it. Got to go at Liverpool today. Have to take risks no matter what. We have to beat them. They're coming to Old Trafford on the back of two wins. United disappointing at Brighton. Won the first game, but they've got to do more. Uh, and I expect risks. I expect changes today. I expect De Litton. I expect Xerxes to come in. But one thing I do expect, I expect them full-backs to get down that line and overlap and get behind. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It's something that's needed to make that partnership with our wide players and put pressure on Liverpool and force them back. A lot's going to be made of today, I think, of Eric Ten Hag versus Arnie Slot, with his, especially him coming in. Is this going to be a bit of a benchmark as well for Eric Ten Hag to see how we can compete against Liverpool under Slot in the future, do you think? No, not against Slot. I, I think everyone has to sort of calm down on it. I think the media have tried to push an agenda between Slot uh, and uh, Eric Ten Hag, but it's just ridiculous. It's typical media trying to hype it up and trying to get at Man United. They've gone at Eric Ten Hag all last year, the year before. They don't think he's fit enough, good enough to be a Man United manager. And they're all hoping that slot turns Man United over today. They've had two wins. They want to make it third. But Man United are going to stick it right up today. I cannot see United getting beat against Liverpool. I think Liverpool have had two easy games. United really should have done better. They haven't, but the pressure's on. But I think United will take the chances today. And I think the mood in the camp after the transfer window and what's happened uh, with United with what's going on, with the vision, I think they'll take it to Liverpool. And Liverpool, remember, came to Old Trafford last year. They weren't happy. They came to Old Trafford knowing that United could turn them over. And the same applies today. Yeah. First two games, though, that you've watched Liverpool, do you not think they look fresh, a little bit more motivated than they did towards the end of last season? Salah, for me, has looked bright in the first opening games. And we're going to have probably Delo as left-back, not his favourite side. So that's going to be a tough one for Delon. I think when you look at uh, Liverpool's games, uh, the two teams they've played, Ipswich uh, and Brentford, they were open. Uh, so Liverpool, if, if you're open against Liverpool, they will play football and they will look good. So they, they actually fell into Liverpool's hands, made it easier for them. You can't deny that they played well, but the opposition was poor and too open. Uh, but with United, I think United just have to go at them but I think they're going to be capable of closing them down. Liverpool really, I believe, will sit back at certain points in the game uh, and try and pick off United, uh, which they're very good at and they have done in the past. But, you know, you look at United and Liverpool, form goes right out of the window and what you expect is the crowd to get behind United. There's a different feel, a different look about United and the walk. I'm I'm sitting upright. I think United fans are walking with an extra step in the stride when they're walking down some. Well, let's hope they do. Yeah, let's hope they do once uh, that full time whistle goes. You've mentioned about your two changes with De Ligt and Xerxes coming in. I totally agree with that. But a lot of Man United fans out there yeah. all week have been mentioning about Marcus Rashford yes. that he deserves to be dropped to the bench and Garnacho deserves a start. I cannot see Eric and I dropping Marcus Rashford today with a game of this magnitude. Man United versus Liverpool, if he can't get up for this and he can't put in a performance, well, it's a worrying sign then going forward for him. But I do expect a performance today from Marcus Rashford. And you've also got to look at it. Garnacho from the bench has made a real impact as well. So why change that right now? I think it's the right time now to change. Uh, Marcus Rashford, we all know, uh, really hasn't had a good time at Manchester United for a long, long time now. But Garnacho, for me, I think there's the shock of the day. Garnacho to start uh, before Rashford. I think Rashford will be on the bench and quite rightly should be on the bench. He's not performed as he should or as people expect him to do. I think he just needs a kick up the backside and put on the bench. We've seen players uh, last year at the start of the season and the year before with Eric Ten Hag, bang, after two games get dropped. Again, we're in that situation where we should uh, be, we should have more points and all that. And there is a shock to the system. And I think today, Rashford is the shock. He's on the bench as far as I'm concerned. And Garnacho deserves to be on there. I think Garnacho being on the pitch will actually frighten Liverpool 
because he's unpredictable. Yeah, no, I do get that. And it's a tough a toss of a coin for me, but I just don't see a game of this magnitude, Eric Tanag, to make a change like that. Don't get me wrong, could be wrong, could have egg on my face. And Rashford comes on for the last 20 minutes and that's one of the best games we've seen for a very, very long time. And let's hope he does if that was to happen. But I just think with Garnacho as well, why change anything at the moment when he is coming on to the pitch as a substitute and he is making an impact and we will need the substitutes at some point against a very good Liverpool side. So, you know, the midfield area with Mainu, Casemiro, Bruno, let me know if you think that's the combinations that will start. Yeah, I think it will be. Yeah, they're enough nailed on. So that's going to be a tough, tough game for that midfield as well. And let's hope they all stay compact and we can also get forward and get in Liverpool's faces. Well, we've got to hope that midfield stays compact. Uh, it's been too wide open at times. We all know that. But you look, you know, you talk about the substitutes. Eric Ten Hag has to get the substitutes right. I've mentioned it previously. He has a problem. At, well, he did have a problem at times with substitutes. But looking at Rashford on the bench, if Rashford's on the bench and he comes on, that in itself will cause Liverpool a problem. They will look at that and know they've got problems because Rashford will want to show everybody that he's worthy of a start. That's why I think it'll be a good move putting Rashford on the bench because it will put Liverpool back if United need to go at Liverpool and get a goal. Yeah, something to think about for Eric Tenag in terms of man management with his players, yeah. who he should start on the pitch and who he should put on the bench and then swapping that round as the game goes along, making the right decisions at the right times because it will be fine margins, I think, this game, who wins and loses. I can't see this game at full time being a draw on this one, but let us know your score predictions on the match. Only a few hours to go at whatever time you're currently watching this video. My score prediction is 2-1 Manchester United. You were smiling, so go on, give yours. I'm I'm actually going 1-0 Man United. I'm going 1-0. Uh, I think there'll be times in the game United will be open, they'll go at them, but they'll also close the game down and the same will happen with Liverpool. I just don't think you'll see a one-sided game, whether it's from Man United or Liverpool. This is going to be very tactical, uh, very tactical, but United will open up and go at Liverpool, just like Liverpool win. So I'm expecting an exciting game today uh, and everyone really should be getting behind, uh, not ju not just United, they'll be getting behind Liverpool. So a great day. But tactically, I think it'll be cagey at times, but open. Yeah, I think if Manchester United was to keep a clean sheet, that would be a huge, huge confidence boost with the firepower that Liverpool yes. currently have and the way they've started off as well with the two games. But as we know, I'm up for it. You're up for oh, it. Hopefully everyone out there is up for it. And we'll see you at full time with two match reactions from my dad, Tony, and Webby as well. So make sure you get that notification on and come and join us with your opinions on the game. Come on, Reds. Come on.